As part of our election team coverage for you tonight, Southern Colorado has captured the attention actually of some national news outlets this election cycle. NPR selected Pueblo as one of its eight key places that will explain 2020. News Live's Andy Cohen joins us live tonight from Pueblo's Democratic Party headquarters, where campaign supporters have been watching those results come in tonight, Andy. Yeah, things have quieted down here at the Democratic Party headquarters in Pueblo right now, but there were quite a few shouts in the room earlier in the night when it was announced that Bernie Sanders had won the state of Colorado. I also ran into quite a few Mike Bloomberg supporters here as well. Bernie Sanders and Michael Bloomberg were the big winners in Pueblo County tonight, but the excitement over Sanders' win statewide seemed to be overshadowed by the national results favoring Joe Biden. I'm feeling hopeful and also a little bit scared. Why is that? Uh, because I don't think Biden is the best choice to be the nominee. Don't think he's sharp enough to go against Trump. I'm telling you, I just, uh, it just, it concerns me. It does. Yeah. The Pueblo clerk reported a last minute surge in ballot returns, evidence of a strong get out the vote effort. A couple of canvases here in Pueblo, um, made sure we reached out to family members and friends and that they knew where their ballot was and where their polling station was, how to turn it in, when the due date was. A journalist from NPR say they're tracking how Pueblo votes because of recent elections here. Donald Trump narrowly won a community that has a higher number of registered Democrats than Republicans, and then two years later, that same community elected a Democratic governor. So that's not something we see throughout the country where you have a, a really swing region. Pueblo's Democratic mayor said not to read too much into Trump's 2016 victory. Uh, it's been a Democratic town, but it's always been a conservative Democratic town. And I think, you know, Donald Trump said some things in 2016 that appealed to people. Uh, now I hope they found out you know, he didn't mean what he said, and he's not doing what he said. But. but a Trump campaign surrogate told me that they think Colorado is in play this November. She said one in six people who attended Trump's rally in the Springs voted Democrat in 2016. We've gathered uh, really great data of how many registered Democrats are actually crossing party lines, and they're seeing that President Trump is actually the president for all of America. And this is, of course, country over party. Now, I didn't run into very many Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren supporters here at party headquarters tonight, but I do know that the Biden camp did have a pretty big get out the vote effort in Pueblo over the weekend with State Senator Leroy Garcia. He wasn't at this event, actually at a Biden event in Denver, which is where he's got to go to work in the morning. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Andy Cohen, News 5.